Sir Jeremy Quinn is the MP for Horsham, where car gatherings on the A24 have been causing problems. I spoke to him a little earlier and asked him to paint a picture of the problem. Well, I don't want to give the impression they're happening every night. They're not. But when they happen, they are extremely uh, concerning, very worrying for local residents, extraordinarily disruptive, and I think could lead to loss of life, which is why the residents are so worried about them. You're talking about multiple numbers of cars uh, turning up to on some occasions speed uh, to be uh, donutting around uh, roundabouts. It's extremely reckless uh, behaviour and residents are deeply concerned. So what measures are you calling for? Well, I would like to compliment the police. I think you saw that in uh, Ben Moore's excellent report. Uh, we had incidents of this last year. The police were absolutely on top of it and they have been doing uh, proactive patrolling. But they sh it shouldn't just be down to the police. They've got many things to do and I want to see more preventative measures on the A264 uh, north of Horsham, I'd like to see some uh, more speed traps being put in. That, I hope, is going to be uh, progressed. But we need to look after prevention. We also need to make certain that this is stamped on when it occurs, because there is a real, there's a real risk to people's lives here. Many of the young people we spoke to said it's just some bad individuals giving everybody a bad name. Is there somewhere safe in Sussex that these car meets could be held? I'm sure there is, uh, and clearly... Ben Moore's covered both sides of this debate. Uh, I think anyone has got a problem with, with people meeting uh, on, a, on an agreed basis on private land to discuss their uh, motor vehicles and uh, have, a, have a good time and talk to each other. There's no problem with that. But when it comes to public highways and putting the risks to themselves and risks to the general public, that's another matter and that's got to be stopped. Jeremy Quinn, thank you very much. Thank you.